Jed hates the dog. Get the f off the couch! Jed also wants the dog out, but I want the dog to stay. We're at a breaking point because she's coming in screaming every night, I'm not taking care of the dog. I said, don't take care of the dog. Leave the dog alone, let who wanted the dog take the responsibility, or let the dog dehydrate, don't eat, drop dead, we bury it in the toba. Come here, you dumb f Come here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hello, Hi. good to meet you too. I'm, I'm, How are you, hon? And look what the dog did, hon. She just went. Yeah. She just yeah. went? She just went now. I walk into the foyer and it is just trashed. There's urine, dried up poop, trash everywhere. Anyway, I'm Shaggy. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, good to meet you. Do you take her out to pee? Uh. No, not, not really. really. <laughs> what? We tie you to the tree outside. You tie it to the tree to go yeah. pee? Yeah. yeah. And there's a noose in the tree, too, just in case, you know. There's a noose in <laughs> the tree? <laughs> He's so bad. Right. Don't listen to him. No. Look, he's the best. Is she? Yeah. So why am I here? She seems like there's no, what, what's the problem? The dog's not the problem. He's the problem. You're the problem. Absolutely not. OK, so what? Why would I be the problem that I can't stand the dog? I'm not really a, a dog type of individual. That table is a month old. Look at the bottom of that table already. This is what she destroyed right here. She destroyed right here. And then she All destroyed the over there. We put $30,000 into this house and you wouldn't even know it. So what have you done about it to stop the chewing? What am I going to do? Chew with her? She don't listen. You tell her to come here, she don't yeah, come here. Yeah, if you're like that, I ain't freaking listening to you either. That's right. That's right. Hey. Chet is a bulldozer of a man. Doesn't listen to anybody else. Very crass. And that's the good parts about him. Tell you what, take her trainer and then bring her back and let's see what happens. Nah, I don't do that. I tell you what to do and then you train the dog because it's your dog. I really wasn't happy with Victoria coming here and spitting, giving orders and everything else. She ain't gonna come in and muscle me. I'm just gonna go with the flow and see how it works out. If it's just not working for me, I'm just not gonna do it. Let me put a piece of duct tape across her ass so she don't leak. What do you think? I'd like to put a piece of duct tape on your mouth. It's going to be interesting if they make it through. There's going to be some kind of fight, or Chet's going to walk out. Everyone's blaming Snooki. Nobody is taking responsibility. And they are all in the wrong. There's nothing wrong with Snooki at all. She's just a puppy that chews, and she hasn't been toilet trained properly. But that's about it. She's a great dog. What do you want from me? I need you. I, I'm good. You're Most women need me, and that's ours. <laughs> yeah, Besides right. that, you know. the desperate ones. We're going to need to work together. It's only going to work if you put in the time and effort. You don't just go to school for five minutes and it's all there. You learn throughout your life. That's exactly what a dog's got to do. I didn't think it's too late. She's set in her ways. She's not set in her ways. She can be changed. That's why I'm here. But you have to help make her change. I love that when uh, Victoria went at the chat. Uh, he never gets that, so I'm glad it happened. You, 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 you grind it in on me. You know, there's four of us Trying here. Trying to get to know you, Chet. The dog, the dog ain't make, you know, ain't, ain't putting bread on my table. The dog ain't doing it. All this was just painted. I can't even tell you how much to choose. Yes, there's been a lot of chewing. Yes, there's been a lot of damage. But don't blame Snooki for it. Blame your laziness, your inability to teach her. She got to the garbage. Oh, she got to the garbage. She was under the bed with the garbage. She brings garbage usually she'll, under the usually bed? Usually when I'm asleep every night around 11.30, she'll bring food up by me, she'll put it by then my she feet. Goes, she I, empties the garbage on the bed. I don't know if it's just out of spite or if she's mad at me because I'm sleeping. No, it's not out of spite or it's mad. She's bringing you stuff. I'm sleeping. Why would she be Doesn't bringing me stuff? She's bringing, she's bringing you stuff. Great attention, too, isn't it? She's bringing you a little present. Victoria said, yeah, it's, that's a sign of affection. Well, let the dog look my face. Don't bring the garbage into the bed. You know what I mean? I wanted to have a bit of quiet time to bond with her but also to teach her a few things. So when we go like this, touch, good. She has to touch it with her nose to get the treat. She now knows that she has to touch it with her nose to get the treat. Good girl. Down. Nice. So she's learned the first part of lying down. Victoria very surprised me very much with, the way, with her, just her technique and the way she was doing it. 
you know, with the, with the treats and getting the dog to, you know, to smarten up and letting the dog figure things out on her own. So you're thinking? She really thought. See? She's not stupid. She's not. I love it when dogs think. Okay? So, Michael, up you get. You're going to do some of this, too. I want you to put your hand on the ground and say, down. Down. And just wait. Good. Excellent. Well done. And this is all mental stimulation. It's all games. That's all it is. It's play. You give her a lot of experience of this back and forth game and coming to you. Yeah, good girl. When she does escape and you call her, she's going to be like, Dad, I love you. And she's going to come back to you. When you train your dog, this is what you end up with is a best friend. Wow. Someone who's a, a real partner and oh, my dog, I had one dog my whole life and 15 years later. And she was like my best brother. No matter where I went, she went with me. When she passed away, that was another. She was never having another one until I met her later. I was really surprised when Chet told me about the relationship he had with his previous dog and how upset he was when that dog passed away. Maybe this is the reason why he's put up a wall between himself and Snooky. You wanted to learn how to get Snooky back if she gets out. Yes, I do. The way to do that is to teach a really reliable recall. Chet seemed really inspired by what he'd seen at the firehouse, so I wanted to give him the opportunity to work with Snooky on the recall. What I'd like you to do is to walk a little bit back, and as you're walking, call her name, and when she gets to you, give her some delicious chicken. Snook, come here, babe. Come here, girl. Come on. Good, lovely. Good girl. Do this the next time. When she comes up to you and you reward her, I want you to put one hand on her collar and then give her the treat, okay? Okay. So that she gets used to coming up close to you. I got you. Come, Snook. Come, Snook. Come, okay. Snooky. Collar. Good girl. Nice. It was nice to have some one-on-one -on -one time with Chet. He was very receptive to the training, and Snooky responded to him in a really great way. The way you talk to a dog's really important. I know my slang, right? No, just the, just the lightness of your voice, because you're kind of gruff. She really responds to when you lighten it up. Come here, girl. Come, girl. Come, Snook. Right. Oh, you yeah, see? Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. Come here, girl. No, I love it. <laughs> it was great to see him get involved and, I think, start caring. So, Chet. Yes, love. When I first came here, you wanted to get rid of her. What do you feel Correct. like now? I don't You've kind of changed my whole train of thought. You know? I mean, she's like a little baby. You gotta, you know, you're gonna get out of it what you get, what you put into it. It was, it was cool for me, I mean, you know, to hang out with like, the more I do it, the more I'll, I'll get used to it too, you know? I'll get there, I'll walk around and I'll figure out a way to pick her in the yard and play with the ball and, you know, one step at a time. Is it because you had this dog that was such a friend with you for 15 years that you don't really want to get attached My to another dog, one? Yeah, it tore me apart. Did it? Yeah, I had to take it to the vet and, you know, and I couldn't deal with it, I was sick for weeks. You know, it was just when, we, when they wanted the dog, I was totally against it because, you know, you're going to hook up with the dog. Eventually, you're going to bond, you know, the dog's going to, you know. And she is pretty bonded with you. Out of any member of the family, she comes to you the most. Yeah, she does. When I first came into this house, I don't think I would have believed that it would be Chet that made the most progress. Deep in Chet's heart, he loves that dog. It's just for so long he hasn't been able to show it. Come here. So, Chet. When I came in here, uh, oh, why, why am I? Oh. Why? I, I thought, who is this guy? <laughs> you, you know, you always think, wow, you know, it's, it's, it's like changing diapers. It, it's really not. It's not going to be as bad as we think it is. Uh, I'm not a icky guy. Don't get that on the phone. Is there a tear coming down not your yet. cheek? No, when I go to the restaurant, maybe I'll have one or two drops. That's oh. it. <laughs> All right. All right. See Thank you guys. Thank you very much, love. What do you think, she's doing better? Yeah, she's doing fine. I like it better like I this. I like it better. Nice and humble, relaxed, no kids coming in and out. Since Victoria's came, things have come a long way. snooki has been doing well, a lot of less grief. There's been a lot of forward progress. And to the positive, everything's been to the positive. Me and Snooki bonded. Yeah. Right, girl? We bonded? Did we bond? Yes, we did. Don't yeah, you love I'm Daddy jealous man. now, uh. look at that. Yeah. The dog has become a friend of Chet's. They were enemies, and now they're best pals. Come by Daddy. Come here. Sit down, sit down, good girl. I never thought the dog was gonna pull it off. But when somebody asked you, yeah, I trained her. I don't, I don't give Victoria any credit for that. I take it off for myself. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. 
And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.